Sunday mornings are often quiet times around New England, but that is not the case today if you're a Boston Bruin. No, this morning the black and gold are on the move, and they're headed west. As a veteran team, there is a comfortable rhythm to travel with this group, from what they eat to where they sit, and of course, how they pass the time. Uh, you know, normally we watch uh, movies, but uh, right now we're watching a, uh, a show called uh, Ray Donovan. So it started the uh, 2010. I would sit with them, and it, it, it always like kind of stopped the, the show to tell me what was going on. Now every time we're on the we're on the road, we watch movies and TV shows. Yeah, we've watched a lot. We gotta be at over 100 by now. Oh yeah, by far. When, when I get back home, actually, uh, my wife wants to watch the movie, and then uh, I've seen them all. So it's kind of she's always like, ah, why do you watch them all? Like that's my tradition with Paisi, you know. Like can't can't change that. I Me, mean, uh, some music and playing games on my phone. Uh, Panda Pop. It's kind of my go-to right now. Some music, some some One Direction, <laughs> uh, that, that kind of stuff. So uh, it's, it keeps me entertained. Uh, hopefully he sleeps the whole way and I don't even have to talk to him. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> uh, da Vinci Code with Dan Brown. It's a it's a great book. When I lived in Sweden, I used to uh, read Swedish books, but uh, now I'm here, so. Try to get better. There are also some less strenuous ways for the guys to entertain themselves on the flight. And before you know it, the team is on the ground in Southern California. Once everyone is off the plane, equipment manager Keith Robinson and his staff have their own well-practiced routines. Can we stack this a little higher? With some help from the Anaheim Ducks equipment guys, the Bruins gear is loaded up and off to the rink for an afternoon practice. Okay, how far are we? Probably 20, 25 minutes. The old saying goes, many hands make light work. Right. One more, make a run. One more. And when the Bruins travel, there are many hands. Veterans and rookies alike all pitch in to get the job done. Is that it? Yeah, it's all the player bags. All your stuff's right on top, inside your bag. We'll get the rest, yep, thank you. The Bruins start the road trip against the Anaheim Ducks. With Captain Zdeno Chara still sidelined, D-man Dennis Seidenberg knows he is in for a heavy workload against the big and physical ducks. The Anaheim Ducks are a top team in the Western Conference and play at the beautiful Honda Center. But one thing it seems they could benefit from, some bigger benches. Slide over, guys. Beat it. Slide down, boys. Faster. Slide over. Slide down, boys. Slide. Matt Bolesky's snipe gives Anaheim a 3-1 lead in the third. Time for the Bees to play some desperate hockey. Going here. Let's get it back. Switch sides. Yeah! Yeah! Nice play, boys. Heisey, nice play. Nice pass. Come on, boys! Come on! It's a good effort by the Bruins, but not enough. 3-2, Anaheim wins, and the road trip is off to a tough start. And Getzloff wins it to the corner. Bergeron throws it off the side of the net as the horn sounds, and this one is over. 
Game one of the Bruins' West Coast road trip has ended in a 3-2 defeat. But with the final buzzer, attention quickly turns to the next game, tomorrow night, 31 miles north versus the LA Kings. We'll see you boys. Next year, huh? Yeah. Or maybe in the finals? Yeah. While the players head back to the hotel for some rest, the equipment staff and team gear are immediately off to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Dinner is definitely to go. Is it good? This is pretty good, yeah. Did you do the meat sauce or the marinara? Meat sauce. Nice. Yeah. Playing back-to-backs can be tough because, obviously, the lack of sleep and uh, short nights, but, um, you know, it's a quick turnaround, you know, in the morning. Depending on what coach's plans are, we could have either a morning skate or guys come in for meetings. So by the time we actually finish till the time the first guy walks in the door, it's uh, usually not too, not too long after we wrap it up for the night. So Once the guys and the gear arrive, their host from Anaheim's equipment staff turns them over to L.A.'s staff. And it's time to get the room set up for tomorrow's morning skate. We usually try to spread the you know, the leaders out around the room, like putting Pasternak next to Berge, just because there's someone for, for Davids to follow their lead, it's Berge. Nice job, there. Coaches? Yeah. Coaches. Okay, that job's done, but the next one is much tougher, beating the champs on their home ice. Playing the reigning Stanley Cup champions is never an easy task. For many of the Bruins, this is a familiar situation. It is, however, a brand new experience for 18-year-old rookie David Pasternak. If you check my stick, I will tip it. Nice shot, good shot. As a first-round draft pick, there's no questioning Pasternak's hockey skills. But tonight is only his third NHL game, and the NHL learning curve is very steep. You go with them, and you stay with them right up okay. the side, okay? Okay. All right, good job. The Bruins find themselves down, one nothing after the first. Between periods, head coach Claude Julien has a very direct message for his troops. we got lots of hockey left here. They're big bees, they're strong bees. We said that before the game. It's a man's game today, okay? It's a man's game. So if you want to play a man's game, then you got to battle through those things. Work your way to that front of that net because what he can't see can't stop here. Okay? Let's go, boys. Let's go. Hey. Pasternak and his mates play a man's game over the final two periods of a very tight game. But in the end, there's just too much Jonathan Quick. Quick and the Kings shut out the Bees 2-0. The road trip is off to a very rocky 0-2 start. The next morning, the team touches down in San Jose, where the highly unusual heavy rainfall seems a fitting welcome for the team from Boston. Once the guys get settled, there is an optional skate. Many of the players participate while a handful up for a gym workout at the hotel. We have had a lot of hockey lately, like seven days in a row, and a lot of games, so I needed my rest today, and then we'll have the morning skate in the game tomorrow, so a little workout for me works well. After everyone gets their work in, the guys have a chance to unwind and mentally prepare for the Sharks. For Carl Soderberg and Louis Erickson, that means treating themselves to a nice Italian dinner, even if it is enemy territory. Artichoke, mushrooms, and garlic. Yeah, I'll try that one though. It's good. With both guys being from Sweden and line mates, it's no surprise that Louis and Carl have bonded off the ice. Probably the best the friend you can have. If you enjoy to hang out together off the ice, it's gonna be good on the ice too. It's a little bit easier talking your own language with each other and no ever since we start playing together we played uh, real well and it's just fun to get together, for, especially for our wives to get together and uh, try to make some dinners and uh, just hang out. As a relative newcomer to the Bruins, Carl Soderberg is not as well known as some of his veteran teammates. 
but dinner is a great way to get to know somebody. I don't know if it's a surprise, but uh, I'm probably the only guy who has been at the Museum of Fine Arts in the team, and, uh, I, enjoy, and uh, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoy those kind of stuff, and I uh, try to do as many of those things I can with my wife. Carl and Louis are enjoying each other's company, but they didn't come here just to talk. It's time to eat. It's can we get his food and try them out? Uh, I'm just kidding. We can, we can have a cannoli. It's been a good night for the two Swedish forwards. Now let's see if that carb load can help the Bruins beat the Sharks tomorrow. Game three of the road trip. Bruins Sharks in San Jose. After dropping the first two games, Milan Lucic and the guys are hoping for a good start in order to turn things around. Ah! Come on, hey, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah! What a play! What a play! Holy black and gold get that good start. The second period, however, is a different matter altogether. Come on, come on. Hey, let's go here. Yeah! No, I didn't touch it. Smitty, 18. To their credit, the Bruins regroup after the Sharks rally. And midway through a wild second period, Tory Krug puts the Bees back on top. Unfortunately, that is officially the end of the Bruins highlights. The Sharks pour in four unanswered goals, and it's a distressing seven to four defeat. The losing streak now stands at three. Time to put California in the rear view. It's on to Arizona, where a new day and another chance to get on track awaits. Fans know Chris Kelly is the vocal alternate captain of the Bruins, but he also holds another important title, dad. My daughter woke up this morning, uh, asked, uh, where's dad? She said, not home. When's he coming home? Sunday, is he bringing me candy? <laughs> so my wife said, I suggest you don't come home empty handed. What's this, what's gummy aids? I don't know if I want this to become a routine. Every time I go on the road, dad's gotta come home with something. Uh, we have magnets too. Okay, perfect. I think if I came home with a magnet, they would ask me to leave right away. Okay, let's see, we'll keep looking. Oh, it is overwhelming. Oh. But if I get one, I gotta get two. You can, and it's gotta be the same. I'm not, I'm not getting two different things. So maybe I'll start with the gummies. All right, I'll get a pink and a purple one. One's favorite color is pink, the other one's purple. All right, perfect. All right, Thanks. there you go. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Hopefully, the day off in Phoenix has helped the team refocus and mentally prepare for the task at hand, beating the Arizona Coyotes and ending their three-game skid. Forward Seth Griffith has been traveling with the team, but has yet to play. That changes tonight. Kevin Miller's first goal of the season puts the Bruins up 2-0 early. Tonight, the guys have no intention of letting this one get away from them. Just keep going at that goal, eh? He just threw it away. Oh, boys, gotta get 
that next goal here, right? Got to get that next goal here. Come on, boys. Keep pushing, boys. Got to keep pushing. recent weeks, the whole play is under review thing has not been working out in the Bruins' favor. But a lot of things are different tonight. On video review, conclusive evidence the puck was not kicked in the net. Oh, oh, boy, Gags. Oh, boy, Gags. Simone Gagne's good hockey goal opens the floodgates. The Bruins score three times in the second period and cruise to a much-needed 5-2 win to close out the road trip. It's been a tough trip for the boys from Boston. Even the travel movies have been bad, until today's flight home. All of which lets Patrice Bergeron put things in perspective. Sometimes that's, you gotta take the positive out of road trips, and that's, that's what I can take out of it, but definitely not the, uh, definitely not our, our best. Even the weather was, you know, it was raining, and a lot of, a lot of negative uh, on this trip, but you know, you gotta think the positive sometimes, and uh, this movie is doing it right now. And so, eight days, four games, and 6,703 air miles after they departed, the Boston Bruins are back home. Despite the rough week out west, there is good news awaiting the boys. That's right. After missing 19 games with a knee injury, Captain Zidane Ochara is healthy and ready for action once again. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, big boy. Come on, big but there will be no easing back into his game because tonight they face their old original six rivals, the Chicago Blackhawks. One of the people most happy to see Big Z back on the ice is, no doubt, the man who works with the defense, Bruins coach Doug Huda. The first period, however, soon dampens his mood. It's not an ideal start, but while Coach Huda may not be playing, he is giving his all to help the Bruins get back into this one. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Everybody up, push here. The low play right here, he's going to try that. Then when they come up, they're going to look for these umbrellas. You might have to step out. He comes back. Let's go. Switch for that shot. Hammer that thing. Go, 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 go. Slowly, the Bruins find their legs. And halfway through the third period, it starts to get real interesting. Z, Dougie. Okay, Char Hamilton. on the ice now and you gotta love it and here we go Jack Kelly and Shaw a great goal and a rare Chris Kelly fight stirs up the crowd and the Boston bench come on boys come on Z But unfortunately, Zidane Ochara's return is not a happy one. The Bruins' comeback falls short, and the team's struggles continue. These are some turbulent times on Causeway Street. Injuries and inconsistent play have the black and gold on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. 
But it's rare for any long flight not to encounter some turbulence along the way. And with their captain back in the fold, the Bruins are hopeful that smoother skies lie ahead. Thank you.